Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, December the 11th. Today is the day for Friday morning meeting. So thank you for joining us today. We are going to uh, cut away right now for the Pledge of Allegiance and then we'll return for Kachas. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, staff, and teachers. My name is Sonny DeJoseph, and today I'm going to talk about cooperation. The dictionary's definition of cooperation is the process of working together to the same end. To me, cooperation is being able to work with someone and both people to have an understanding of what you're working on. Bryant Miguel, a best-selling author and activist, who wrote in a book titled Voice of Reason, cooperation is a higher moral principle than competition. I think this means much more can be accomplished with cooperation rather than competing to do more than others. A time I used cooperation was during my birthday party last year. I was at an escape room, which is a place with lots of puzzles that people need to solve if they want to leave. My friends and I had to cooperate to find clues on how to escape. If we were not able to cooperate, it would have been extremely hard to find our way out. This is just one of the reasons I find cooperation a very useful skill. Cooperation may also be beneficial to you whether you are on a sports team or if you have siblings, being able to cooperate can be an incredibly strong character trait. I hope you found my VIP about cooperation very helpful. Thank you for your time and have a great Friday. All right, welcome back. We have some coaches for the week. These are students who are being recognized by their teachers for doing great things in the classroom. From Miss George, Vivi Armetta for giving confident answers during math and small group on Wednesday. Jonah Lowe for being able to jump right into our small group activities without needing Miss George to repeat the instructions. Ayla M. Emery for her house spirit last Friday. We love seeing that kind of PHSSA pride. Matthew Henderson for always being on time and ready to start in small groups. Your hard work is paying off. Great job to those students in Miss George's class. These are from Miss Schwartz in grade four. Sydney Beck. Sydney is always volunteering to read more and she has been doing an awesome job of it. Thank you, Sydney. Beatrix Power. Beatrix stayed on after class ended to help show her classmates how to use a tool on their computers. She was being a fantastic helper and a friend to them. And Beatrix, that is a great help, not only to the students, but also to the teacher. You're helping everyone out, so thank you for that. Javiah Smith. Javiah helped a classmate who did not have a piece of paper to write on. She immediately made them a Google Doc and shared it with them so that they could participate and follow along. That was quick thinking, um, Javiah, and you are very tech savvy to be able to do that, so I am very impressed. Thank you for your help. To Avery, Carmen, Ford, Beatrix, Malachi, and Oliver, you all have done a fantastic job participating this week in class. You've made great connections between Hamilton and the American Revolution, and, the, and you have shared them with the class. And it was my pleasure to be in the classroom to see you all doing that as well. So I can agree with Ms. Schwartz that you guys were doing a tremendous job when I was there. These are from Ms. Swift, Cherish, Carly, Olivia, and Cameron for always returning promptly from their math or reading classes with Ms. Bell and Ms. Martin. You always arrive on time after class, you raise your hand, you ask what you have missed, if there's anything you've missed, and if Ms. Swift is not teaching, they know to come in quietly. Uh, use their observation skills and follow along with the rest of the students. Great job, friends, and you guys are real self-starters, and um, Ms. Swift really appreciates that as a teacher. Shanasia Williams, 
During testing with Ms. Brookman, Shanasia was disconnected from the Google Classroom. She came back to homeroom to let me know that she needed help. She's always so patient and very assertive, and that means, Shanasia, that you ask questions and advocate for yourself, which is fantastic. So thank you for doing that and letting Ms. Swift know that you needed that extra help. Speaking up for yourself. Good job. Donovan Heupel. Uh, Wednesday, we were wrapping up language arts and Miss Swift taught a few minutes longer going into snack time. Donovan raised his hand and said, Miss Swift, it's 1057. He reminded Miss Swift in such a kind and friendly manner and he wanted his snack. So good job, Donovan, and um, to the rest of the class as well. So those are our coaches for this week. I want to thank all of you parents and family members for your support through this virtual learning and teaching environment. We're making uh, the most of it. We're doing a good job and you guys are fantastic. We couldn't do it without you. Um, so thank you to you all and thank you to all of the teachers and staff at Patrick Henry for the hard job that they're doing. They're all doing just an amazing job. So congratulations uh, to everyone um, and thank you for doing such a wonderful job this week and always. So with that, we're going to close out our Friday meeting for this week. I want to wish you all a very happy um, weekend. Next week, we have um, materials pickup days on the 14th and 15th for parents to come and pick up learning materials for you guys. Um, the times are 9.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. at night on Monday and Tuesday. Um, teachers will have uh, bags of things to send home for the holidays. And then next week is our last week of school before we break for our winter break. Um, so we will wish you all a great weekend at this time, and we will see you all next week. Take care, everybody.